they are both cool and irresistibly cute. Just look at their faces. But don't let their appearance fool you, because they also have a lot of amazing abilities, and in the end, that is going to determine the winner of the 14th episode of Animal Battle. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce our two competitors. The Raccoon versus The Red Panda. Also, stick until the end of the video to find out who is the winner of the last battle between the dog and the cat. Let's do it. I'm Aro and this is Animal Battle. As in every episode of Animal Battle, we are going to find out who is better, evaluating our two competitors based on six different characteristics, which are agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill, and survival. So being more powerful isn't enough to be the winner. They have a lot of interesting abilities for the bonus skill stats, and the intelligence of a raccoon might surprise you. So don't miss that. Also, you should know that, although they look similar due to their facial masks, Red pandas are not that closely related to raccoons, they have their own family. And, as a matter of fact, they aren't closely related to pandas either. The red panda can also be called the Firefox, and it is the one that inspired the name for that browser. Now that you know that, we can start. And the first stats we are going to talk about are their agility stats. Due to their short legs, raccoons aren't that fast, reaching speeds of up to 24 km per hour. Red pandas walk and run with a speed of 38 km per hour, which is quite decent for their size. But what gives a lot of agility points to raccoons and red pandas are their climbing skills. Both of them are excellent climbers. They have long tails for balance and sharp claws for a better grip. They can both rotate their back legs to go head first down a tree, which is an ability that just a few mammals have. Red pandas also have fur on their paws for a better grip, but the raccoon has a nace up its sleeve. It is actually a very good swimmer too, and can stay in water for hours. Now let's see their stats. So they have high agility stats, especially for their size. Next come their attack and defense stats. So both of them are relatively small. Raccoons can reach up to 17 cm in length, plus a 40 cm tail, and usually weigh around 5 to 12 kg. But some raccoons can be quite large, the largest one recorded weighing more than 28 kg and reaching 140 cm in total length. The Firefox? Not that. I mean the red panda can reach up to 64 cm in length and has an equally long tail. They can weigh up to about 6 kg. An interesting fact is that even though the red panda and the raccoon are classified in the order carnivora, they eat plants too, red pandas primarily feeding on bamboo, but also eggs, birds, insects and sometimes small mammals. What do raccoons eat? Almost anything, from fruits to bird eggs, fish, mammals and crustaceans. That makes the human trash an amazing buffet for raccoons. And although they look cute, red pandas are territorial and raccoons can be quite aggressive and can do a lot of damage. Some of them are just crazy and can attack dogs. Both the raccoon and the red panda have sharp claws and the firefox can also retract them like cats do. Red pandas have a couple of predators like snow leopards, clouded leopards, wild dogs and mussolids. If they feel in danger they can climb a rock column or a tree. And if they can't flee they stand on their hind legs to appear larger and use their sharp claws to defend themselves. Raccoons also have a lot of predators being widely distributed. They can be killed by lynxes, coyotes, cougars, wolves and other large carnivores. So let's see their stats. Raccoons are doing better here, being a bit larger and more aggressive, but they still don't have very high attack and defense stats. But can they make up for that with their bone skills? Let's see. Red pandas can use their long and fluffy tail for keeping themselves warm, and their reddish orange colored fur is used for camouflage. Also, they have six fingers. Well, technically, the six finger isn't actually a finger, but an extension of a wrist used for grabbing bamboo branches easier. Raccoons have very thick serious paws, with no webbing between them. Their paws are very sensitive, so raccoons can see with their paws. Also, they are known to wash their foot, but they actually do that because water softens their paws, so they are even more sensitive. And raccoons can look for predators or more food at the same time. If seeing with their feet sounds weird to you, then wait until you hear that red pandas can smell with their tongues. That's right, red pandas have very sensitive tongues and use them to sense predators or food. If that isn't enough, you should know that red pandas can also tweet like birds. Also, raccoons have black facial masks to reduce glare and to recognize others' facial expressions. 
but the biggest bond skill that raccoons have is that they can form groups of a couple of individuals to find more food and to protect their territories from other raccoons. That is it for bond skills. So let's see their stats. Very nice. Now we should move to intelligence stats. Like other members from the order Carnivora, red pandas are quite smart. But raccoons are even smarter. They can remember solutions to tasks for more than three years. Also, raccoons can open all kinds of locks. They are almost as smart as monkeys. And living in cities and having to overcome human barriers and locks, raccoons have become even smarter. Their ability to learn quick is quite impressive. So let's see their intelligence stats. So they are quite high. Raccoons being clearly better here. And last, but definitely not least, are their survival stats, which are quite different. On one side we have a raccoon, which hasn't just invaded a lot of big cities like Toronto, Chicago, New York and Washington, but have also invaded countries like Germany and Japan. For some reason, people thought that they would make great pets. Japanese people were inspired by a cartoon about a boy and his raccoon, and, as the boy did at the end of a series, people released their raccoons into the wild when they grew up. Now raccoons are destroying Japanese temples and are damaging German properties and their populations are increasing because they thrive in cities where there is a lot of food and less predators. Unfortunately, the cute red panda isn't doing that good. It is listed as an endangered species because there are less than 10,000 individuals left. This is due to habitat loss and poachers. Their tails are sold for a high price because in China it is thought that they bring good luck at their weddings. Yeah, a very reasonable thing. Red pandas can live around 8 to 10 years into the wild and some up to 15 years. Raccoons have an average lifespan of 1.8 to 3.1 years, but can live way longer in captivity, over 20 years. Red pandas can give birth to two cubs, and raccoons can have two to five kids. Now let's see their final stats. So they have high agility stats, and raccoons are considerably better at intelligence and survival. So who is the winner? Well, it is up to you because you can vote the winner in the poll right there, and leave your opinions in the comments down below, and I will be happy to read them. Also, tell your real and imaginary friends, parents, and most importantly, tell your babushka to smash the subscribe button because I won't rest until I beat both PewDiePie and T-Series. Right, it is time to announce the winner of the last episode of Animal Battle. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Dog! An incredible animal which managed to conquer our hearts being useful and sometimes just a good friend. Does that mean that you should throw your cat out the window? Of course not, just because cats didn't win. That doesn't mean that they are less amazing, because here, on Earth from Animals, we love and respect all animals. So, once again, don't forget to vote the winner of this episode's battle in the top right corner. And, if you like what I make, consider supporting me on Patreon. Respect animals.